What's up guys? Welcome to Life is Very Precious channel. Today, we're going to talk about 7 Amazing Foods to Lower Your Blood Pressure Moringa is a tropical and subtropical plant native to northern India that can also be found in Asia and Africa. This plant's leaves, petals, seeds, and roots have been utilized in folk medicine for ages. It is grown in the tropical countries such as Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, and more. Medicine is made from the leaves, bark, flowers, fruit, seeds, and roots. Moringa seed oil is utilized in foods, cosmetics, and hair care items, as well as as a machine lubricant. Is taking Moringa every day safe? Even at greater doses, Moringa powder has been shown to be safe. The daily intake should be limited to 70 grams of Moringa leaves or 11 tablespoons of Moringa powder per day. Benefits of Moringa as a Herbal Supplement Moringa has been shown in trials to reduce high blood pressure, blood sugar, and cholesterol levels in the short term. It may also protect against arsenic toxicity by acting as an antioxidant and anti-inflammatory agent. Moringa leaves are also high in nutrients and can help persons who are deficient in certain nutrients. The following are some of the potential adverse effects of taking Moringa. Because of the alkaloids in the plant, blood pressure is reduced and heart rate is slowed. Moringa bark induces uterine contractions. A compound extracted from roasted Moringa seeds causes cell mutations. Obstacles to fertility. Number 2 Avocado. Avocados are grown in numerous countries with tropical and Mediterranean climates, with Mexico supplying 32% of the global total in 2019. When mature, the domestic variety fruit has a buttery flesh. Avocados can be pear-shaped, egg-shaped, or spherical and have green, brown, purple, or black skin when ripe, depending on the type. The fruits are harvested while still immature and then matured after harvesting. The yellow-green flesh of the fruit is consumed, but the peel and seed are thrown away. Avocados have a lot of potassium in them. In comparison to bananas, which are a typical high-potassium food, a 3.5-ounce portion contains 14% of the recommended daily intake RDA. A high-potassium intake has been associated to lower blood pressure, which is a major risk factor for heart attacks, strokes, and kidney failure according to several studies. Potassium is a vital mineral that most individuals are deficient in. Avocados are abundant in potassium, which helps to keep blood pressure in check. Avocados and avocado oil are abundant in monounsaturated oleic acid, a heart-healthy fatty acid thought to be one of the primary reasons behind olive oil's health advantages. Avocados are high in fiber, with roughly 8% by weight, which is a lot when compared to other foods. Fiber may provide major weight loss and metabolic health. A 2018 review of 10 studies indicated that persons who ate 1 to 4 avocados per day had higher HDL, protective cholesterol. While this may appear to be a large number of avocados, keep in mind that most guacamole recipes call for one avocado per person. Avocados are also abundant in monounsaturated fat, fiber, 9 grams per medium avocado, and potassium, all of which are linked to heart health. This is fantastic news for individuals who follow a heart-healthy diet. Avocados may protect the heart in the same way that olive oil and nuts do in the heart-healthy Mediterranean diet, according to study. Number 3 Garlic Garlic has by far the greatest amounts of first reaction products among onion family members, making it considerably more powerful than onion, shallot, or leeks. Garlic is frequently referred to as the stinking rose because to its pungent odor. When garlic is consumed in large quantities, it can leave a significant impression on the diner's perspiration and breath the next day. Garlic is extensively used as a spice or condiment all over the world because of its strong flavor. What happens if you consume garlic on a regular basis? Garlic can induce foul breath, a burning feeling in the mouth or stomach, heartburn, gas, nausea, vomiting, body odor, and diarrhea when consumed by mouth. When using raw garlic, these adverse effects are frequently exacerbated. 
What happens if you consume garlic on a regular basis? Garlic can induce foul breath, a burning feeling in the mouth or stomach, heartburn, gas, nausea, vomiting, body odor, and diarrhea when consumed by mouth. When using raw garlic, these adverse effects are frequently exacerbated. Is garlic beneficial to the heart? Garlic and garlic supplements have been proven in certain studies to improve heart health by avoiding cell damage, controlling cholesterol, and reducing blood pressure. Garlic supplements have also been shown to decrease plaque formation in the arteries in other studies. Garlic has been used as a medicinal herb for thousands of years, and recent research suggests that garlic may help lower your risk of heart disease. High cholesterol and blood pressure are two cardiovascular risk factors that garlic may help to decrease. Garlic may help with memory and athletic performance as well. Garlic's ability to reduce cholesterol is unknown. It may assist to avoid heart disease, however a 2009 meta-analysis of medical research found that it did not particularly lower cholesterol. Garlic, on the other hand, is considered to offer additional health advantages, such as reducing blood pressure. What is the recommended daily dose of garlic? For adults, for gram, 1 to 2 cloves, of raw garlic per day, 1 300 mg dried garlic powder tablet, standardized to 1.3% allium or 0.6% allicin yield, 2 to 3 times per day or 7.2 g of aged garlic extract per day are widely suggested in the literature. Number 4 Salmon Salmon refers to a group of ray-finned fish of the family Salmonidae. Trout, char, grayling, and whitefish are also members of the same family. Salmon are endemic to the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. These are referred to as Pacific salmon as a whole. New Zealand and Patagonia have both introduced Chinook salmon. In Patagonia, coho, freshwater sockeye, and Atlantic salmon have all been established. Salmon has around 200 calories per serving, which is 3 to 4 ounces. It's a good source of protein and low in saturated fat. It's also high in vitamin B12, making it one of the finest sources available. Potassium, iron, and vitamin D are all abundant in this fruit. Health advantages. Salmon is high in vitamin B12, which maintains your blood and nerve cells healthy and helps you create DNA. The fundamental beauty of salmon for your health is its abundance of omega-3 fatty acids. The majority of omega-3 fatty acids are considered essential. They are not produced by your body, yet they play an important part in it. They can reduce your chances of developing. Number 1. Cardiovascular disease is a condition that affects the cardiovascular system, including heart attack and stroke. Number 2. Cancers of a few kinds. Number 3. Dementia. Number 4. Alzheimer's disease and other forms of dementia are among the most common forms of mental illness. Nutritional advantages. Salmon has around 200 calories per serving, 3 to 4 ounces. It has a low saturated fat content and is an excellent source of protein. It's also high in vitamin B12, making it one of the greatest sources. It's also high in potassium, iron, and vitamin D, among other minerals. Number 5. Red wine. Red wine is a type of wine created from grapes with a dark hue. The color of the wine can range from vivid violet, which is indicative of young wines, to brick red, which is representative of mature wines, and brown, which is typical of elder red wines. The red color of most purple grape juice comes from anthocyan pigments, also known as anthocyanins, found in the grape's skin. Exceptions are the very rare tincturia types, which have a greenish-white juice. Studies have established a link between moderate red wine consumption and excellent heart health for years. The red color of most purple grape juice comes from anthocyan pigments, also known as anthocyanins, found in the grape's skin. Exceptions are the very rare tincturia types, which have a greenish-white juice. Studies have established a link between moderate red wine consumption and excellent heart health for years. Because of the antioxidants, polyphenols, present naturally in the grape, red wine eaten in moderation appears to help lower blood pressure. Fitness professionals, on the other hand, should not encourage people to consume wine, especially if they have never done so before. 
Because of the antioxidants, polyphenols, present naturally in the grape, red wine eaten in moderation appears to help lower blood pressure. Fitness professionals, on the other hand, should not encourage people to consume wine, especially if they have never done so before. Is it true that red wine thins the blood? Because alcohol inhibits blood cells from adhering together and creating clots, it can thin your blood. This may reduce your chances of having a stroke caused by blood vessel obstructions. Red wine is beneficial for your health as well as your taste buds when consumed in moderation. At least, that's what we're taught all the time. Red wine and heart health have long been connected, with studies claiming that a glass or two of red wine each day can reduce the risk of heart disease. Caution, consult your family physician first before taking or drinking red wine. Number 6. Banana. Are bananas considered a superfood? Despite some unfavorable press, bananas are nutritious and may possibly be the first superfood, having been recommended by the American Medical Association as a healthy food for children and a therapy for celiac disease in the early 20th century. The American Heart Association AHA, recommends that people reduce their sodium intake and increase their intake of potassium-rich foods such as banana. Potassium can assist in the control of blood pressure and the reduction of stress on the cardiovascular system. According to the nutritional information from the preceding sources, a medium banana supplies nearly 9% of a person's daily potassium requirements. The mineral potassium is abundant in bananas. Potassium aids in the maintenance of bodily fluid levels and controls the flow of nutrients and waste products into and out of cells. Potassium also aids the contraction of muscles and the response of nerve cells. It maintains the heart pumping normally and helps lower blood pressure by reducing sodium's impact. Potassium may help people avoid kidney stones as they become older. Healthy kidneys, in turn, ensure that the proper quantity of potassium remains in the body. What are some of the advantages of banana consumption? Fiber, potassium, folate, and antioxidants like vitamin C can all be found in bananas. All of them are beneficial to one's cardiovascular health. People who eat a high-fiber diet had a decreased risk of cardiovascular disease than those who eat a low-fiber diet, according to a 2017 review. Why is it that bananas should be avoided at all costs? Bananas have a higher calorie content, about 105 calories, and less fiber than other fruits, so you won't feel as satisfied for as long. In small amounts, bananas are excellent for your heart, but too many bananas can cause hyperkalemia. This indicates that your blood contains an excessive amount of potassium. Consuming bananas on a regular basis helps to meet daily potassium requirements, which helps to lower blood pressure and prevent future consequences such as strokes and renal disease. Choose a banana instead of a salty snack to benefit your entire body. Potassium's potential to reduce blood pressure is well known, especially when combined with the DASH diet or a low-sodium eating plan. Number 7. Green Tea. Caffeine tea was initially consumed by humans in China about 4,000 years ago. Since then, it has risen to second only to water in terms of global popularity. Green and black teas are both manufactured from the leaves of the Camellia sinensis shrub, but green tea contains more antioxidants because it is derived from unfermented leaves. Green tea has been shown in several trials to limit the formation of malignancies, lower blood pressure, and lower the risk of heart disease. Green tea, which is made from the Camellia sinensis plant, is a popular beverage all over the world and the most common source of flavonoids in the American diet. Green tea has the most notable impact on human health, and catechins, which belong to a family of chemicals known as flavonoid-like polyphenols or flavanols, are primarily responsible for green tea's health-promoting properties. What types of tea are beneficial to those with high blood pressure? Green tea can aid in the management of high blood pressure. Green tea use enhances blood circulation. It also helps to minimize inflammation in the tissues of the heart. Green tea is high in antioxidants, which help to keep your heart healthy. The discovery could help scientists develop more effective antihypertensive medications, which could benefit millions of individuals all around the world. 
Controlling or reducing high blood pressure will help avoid chronic kidney disease, heart attacks, heart failure, and perhaps dementia, according to the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute trusted source. What is the best way for me to consume green tea without experiencing any negative consequences? Drink green tea on an empty stomach to avoid these negative effects. Green tea should be had after every meal instead. Green tea should be avoided if you have acid reflux or stomach ulcers because it can raise acidity levels. Disclaimer of medical advice, diagnosis, and treatment. This YouTube channel and its services do not represent medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. For diagnosis and treatment, including your unique medical requirements, always consult your healthcare professional. Please consult a certified healthcare practitioner as soon as possible if you have or believe you have a medical problem. If you enjoy viewing my channel, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment.